Hello everybody, this is Liliana Rowena and today I'm going to be talking about 10 fun winter meetup ideas for you and your Lolita.com. Um, I'm kind of in a comfy outfit here. I started the blog, there'll be a post version of this in my blog as well, but I just thought this would be fun. So the first one is super cliche, but I had to include it, is go ice skating with your com. If everyone has the winter gear, it's super cute, it looks great in photos, and learning something new with friends is always a ton of fun. Um, the next thing that I would suggest, number two on the list, is a cozy little movie day. It would be a super cute, fun idea if you don't feel like going outside, if not everybody wants to get bundled, just all settle in. You can watch Lolita themed movies if you want, or not. Like, your life and your calm, do what you want. Um, have some hot cocoa. Um, I, for me, I think Lolita themed or holiday wintery would be perfect. And over here, if I keep leaning down, that's where my script is. I'm new to having kind of an outline to my videos. So some of these I'm actually really proud of because I haven't seen them. So some were super cliche and some I haven't seen before. And one fun thing that I almost want to suggest to do with my calm, but I do know some of the girls in my calm have a sensitivity to cold, so I don't want to like make them left out. But if you're able to do it, what I think would be super fun is to have a snow sculpture building contest. Again, you can make it Lolita themed or not. Like, I don't live your life. Um, super cute idea in my opinion. Um, it could be as casual or as serious as you want. You could like appoint judges to it, declare a theme, like make it super, super extra, or just all have fun like building snowmen together. It can vary. Another thing that I thought would be fun, because it's something my family does, like I said in the instance, I know there's some people in my comp who have sensitivity to cold, but you still want to have some winter themed fun. Uh, one thing you can do is have a yarn snowball fight and then that way you don't have to worry as much about prints and stuff. So first you make yarn snowballs. You can go find this craft anywhere online. Um, just look up yarn snowballs. It's super cute, super cute. Um, and so you have these fluffy yarn snowballs. They don't hurt at all. Um, you can do it inside and you just like throw snowballs at each other. It's just really fun in my opinion. Um, number five is the knitting slash crocheting party. Something about cozy knits just puts me in such a mood for winter. And you can just like, if people all have the stuff or you want to provide some of it, because like, I have like a bag of crochet hooks back at my parents' house. Like I could provide people with some crochet hooks. I don't do it very often, but I have a lot of stuff too if I ever decide to pick that up again. Um, and I feel like it's, again, it's really fun to teach your friends new things, learn new stuff. You can listen to music, chat, have tea. It's like very social, very cozy, wonderful little winter stuff. It just makes me happy. So number six, me and my com have actually done before, is have a holiday baking party. Since it's cold outside, you're not gonna get all roasted inside as if you did a baking party in the summer. You can go for it, but um, it definitely is easier in the winter, in my opinion. Um, also, it just helps you get into that holiday spirit, like build gingerbread houses, bake cookies, like have a great time. So number seven is cafe hopping. So. I actually haven't done this yet, but my roommates have gone to do this, and I'm like, this is the perfect idea to do with a Lolita Calm as well. Um, it's very, very, looks very fun, very cozy, just if you are able to do it, or you have lots of little cafes in your area, like you do where I am, um, spend an afternoon going from cafe to cafe if you've got the money and time, but if you need a shorter meet, just going to a cafe in the winter is lovely because it's always cozy. You can watch people at the window. Yes. You know, 
winter, this is an aside, but like winter oftentimes for me can be a little bit of like a depressing time for me, but like thinking about all of these fun things is making me be like a lot more into it, honestly. Um, another idea I had, and this would be like a super low cost meet you could do is to have like a snowflake party in someone's house where you just get a bunch of with regular paper, scissors and tape, that's all you need to have a snowflake party. And you just make tons of snowflakes while you talk and you decorate like a friend's or your place depending on who's hosting. And you just put the snowflakes everywhere. You can write little messages on the snowflakes, leave them there. You can decorate them more if you've got the supplies. But really the only requirement to throw a snowflake party is to have paper, scissors, and tape, or some way to attach it to the wall. Um, number nine is to take a photo op trip to the mall. So you might have to wait until, you know, actually, I don't know if the Christmas tree is up, but you know how malls have those huge Christmas trees, fun holiday displays? Just go to the mall and take tons of pictures of your outfits have a good time. Go take pictures with that big beautiful tree in the mall or with different stands. Look at different things. And one thing that I really like about these kinds of meets is that if you don't have a ton of money, yes, you're like at the mall, but you don't have to spend money. You can just spend time with your friends and unlike going to a cafe or a restaurant, there's really no pressure, but you still get to feel like you got to go out. Um, and then number 10, I kind of struggled to come up with number 10, so it's super similar to nine. But again, if everyone's okay and able to deal with the cold or has the supplies to, you can also do a photo op trip outside where you slash a scavenger hunt. Because I feel like this might be easier to do outside where you like wear your like wintry prints, holiday prints, and then as you're outside, you try to find nature's places that are good to take photos, try to find um, shop windows that look like your dress and just have tons of fun getting as many group shots and single shots as you can like pretend you're a bunch of models on like a photograph trip so thank you all for watching those are my 10 different winter Lolita meetup ideas I need to actually suggest some of these to my calm I've just been super busy with school so unfortunately I've only been able to attend meetups on and off I love all of the girls in my comm, they're all lovely, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Liliana Rowena, 